so today we're, we're going to learn how to add and subtract decimals. Okay, so first we're going to do 1 and 92 hundredths minus 0 and 20 hundredths. Okay, so 2 minus 0 is 2, right? So we're going to put that down. What's 9 minus 2? It's 7, right? So let's put that down. Remember to put your decimal. Okay, 1 minus 0 is 1. So your answer is 1 and 72 hundredths. Okay, so let's go on to the next problem. Oh, before I go on to the next problem, I forgot to mention that remember to line up your decimal points. You see how these are connected? Always line your decimal points up. Okay, so... Now we're going to do 2 and 20 hundredths plus 0 and 75 hundredths. Another, th rule, another rule is that if, say, this 5 wasn't here and 0 and 75 hundredths, then it'll be 0, zero and 7 tenths. But anyway, see the 0 up here? That would be all alone and nothing to plus with. You would put a 0 in any place value that needs a spot. Okay, so now let's add them together. 0 plus 5 is 5, right? So let's put that down. 2 plus 7 is... Okay, it's 9. So let's put the 9 down. Remember to put your decimal point. Now, 2 plus 0 is 2, right? So let's put the 2. Now, let's go on to the next problem. So, remember the decimal points, and look, I put two zeros in the place values that need as spots. Okay, so now let's minus them. Zero minus zero is zero, right? So let's put a zero. Seven minus one is six, right? So let's put a six. Remember your decimal point. One minus zero is one. So your answer is one and sixty hundredths. Now, let's do the final problem. It's a plusing again. Remember to put your decimals in line and add zero for any place values that need it, but this one doesn't. So we're going to add 1 and 37 hundredths and 0 and 99 hundredths. Okay, so here we go. 7 plus 9 is 16, right? So let's put the 16 down, carry the 1. 3 plus 1 plus 9 is... 13, so we're going to put the 3 in, remember to put your decimal point, but then we're going to carry the 1 up here again. So 1 plus 1 plus 0 is 2. So your answer is 2 and 36 hundredths.